Hey, well today we are at the Vintage Kitchen. We are visiting our friends and we are going to try to find something to buy and flip for a profit. Yes! The kids are really excited. I told them this is a no touch zone. No touch mm. zone. So let's head in, here we go. I think they're excited to see us. They're waiting inside. Let's go, Oh, she's on the poor <laughs> lights and rise. <laughs> she likes Kathy. I'm getting a whole story. Oh my goodness. Ashton says, I like the blue glass. Yes, the blue glass is very I nice. Like the little owl. You like the little owl? Tommy's got the, the best like the glass. And the the pair. Oh yes, and I the see fish. those. I see the owl over there. I gotta go check out that owl. That owl looks awesome. Okay, no touching though. Yeah, that owl. That's a cool owl. And look at this Roadrunner too. That's neat. I like these two. Do you like, oh, those guys? Those uh, decanters? Yeah, there's some really amazing glass here. Ugh. This is great. I think we saw that the last time. This is Viking. It's the blue dog. It's a little bit more rarer than some of the other pieces. I've bought and sold that one before. All right, we've got some fairy lights. Ooh, I don't know, maybe we should buy some fairy lights today. Tommy has quite the collection. I have one similar to that, that um, Persian medallion. Gosh, and then we gotta see the Pyrex, of course. Just a little while ago, um, Tommy actually had a huge Pyrex sale and he had a bunch of people come through and buy the Pyrex. Look at how amazing this is. Oh my goodness, he's got every color. It's just phenomenal. This is one of our favorite places to drool over. <laughs> There's some original boxes, chip and dip sets. My goodness. Wow, I think I'm gonna have to get at least one piece of glass today before I leave. The looks of that quail. Yeah. It is really nice. Usually the stuff that's in the case is a little bit more spendy. This Mommy likes that $28 vase. We might have to get that out. Oh, that you like the bear. How much is the bear? $30. Would you rather have the bear or the other, the frog? Decisions, decisions. You must pick one. You must pick one. So you, which one you want the more expensive one? Is that your base? <laughs> yeah, the other one is more expensive. Do you see what's oh, I love these fairy lights. This one has a coralline texture on it. I'm mean, just pointing out this fairy light. I've never seen it in purple before. And apparently one just sold for $1,000. So he's got his price for $1,200. That's amazing. Moon and Stars. Do you know who makes that one? Because I know the Moon and Star molds were sold. Yeah, that's still a Smith. Is it? Okay. Those ones, $145. 85 that um, Viking in the back with the owl is 275 Gosh, and I really love that one in the back. I think it's kind of married $75 on that one. I just scooped up this fish. It has a really nice polished mouth for $35 I'm gonna Stick that up here with the rest of our glass. Ashton is getting the frog for his glass collection <laughs> And uh, Juliet got this guy. I really like the looks of this picture here. It's kind of unique. I'm gonna pull it off the shelf very gently. Uh, it's got this really curious looking handle. I like the contrast of the yellow with the blue. It's $48. I feel like I'll add that to my pile as well. There's just so much cool glass here. I know I could really go crazy, but uh, I don't wanna go too crazy. I'm really drawn to those swung glass vases up there, but as you guys know, the price of them has gone through the roof. And I, I still remember the day when I could pay 30 bucks for one that size. Another 850, 650, and he sells them at those prices. So I mean, that is what they are currently going for. It's just nuts. I have one of these in my cabinet. Um, that one is 85. I have one of those in my china cabinet. But yeah, this is definitely the place you want to go if you love glass. It looks like Jordan Imports Company, $55. Fish shape. And I really love this. This is an interesting finger shape. Oh my gosh. This is where it's at. Look at this. 
You thought that that was a lot of glass. What do you think of this? Good. Oh my gosh, and it just goes on and on and on. Look at these glass canes down here. Those are so cool. I know, isn't the elephant great? I don't think I've ever seen him before. Looks like the kitty cats are still here. The kids are already long gone. They're like, see you later, mom. Yeah. This is like glass heaven. Mom? Yes, baby. I like that. You like the what? The what? You like the turtle? That is a um, floral frog, so it's for florists, and they would put flowers into the holes. They both bug her all the time. They're always trying to kiss her and love on her. And she's finally, she's like gotten to the point where she swats at them. She's like, get away from me, but she just flails her arms. <laughs> Okay, well that was a very, very quick trip to the vintage kitchen to see our friends. But I have brought you guys back to the shop. I have a pile of about four boxes that I need to start hauling because tomorrow Andrew is going to pick up uh, more auction hauls. Not just one, two auction, auction winnings. Because the last auction winning, he wasn't feeling well and so we didn't make it down to pick up what we won so it's actually like two loads of auctions and uh, i really need to, to get on top of it so um we're gonna go through a box today i'm gonna take you out and we're gonna unload it onto the cart but before we do that i need to show you something <laughs> here are the boxes that i need to go through um i gotta obviously unload the cart here but um, I felt like we made some real progress yesterday. Mary came over and we emptied all of the boxes that were up against this wall. I was feeling good about it. But then Andrew went over to Carlisle Antique Mall and pulled out all of our things. And now <laughs> it's like, you know, take two step forward and take seven million steps backwards because now we have a really really full shop but um i spoke with, with the people at ricochet consignment who do the software for the antique mall and everything we have here is essentially priced um i don't think the the furniture pieces are necessarily priced but you know for instance this bucket over here has a hangy tag on it um I spoke with them at Ricochet. We are going to have the same software here when we open our shop, which, spoiler alert, <laughs> we're opening a shop, 2023. Uh, but I spoke with the folks at Ricochet Consignment, and we can actually port our inventory from Carlisle over to our new system um, that will be exclusively for our shop. So, that's a step in the right direction. I won't have to retype everything that we have here. Um, we've decided it's only going to be on this side of the shop. Right here. So, all of the eBay is going into the back, so that'll clear out pretty much all of this. The sink is getting flipped to the other side, so we can process on the other side of the wall. And my dad's going to be building us a wall here, walling this off. And so this will be our storage in essence. But you know what? Maybe we won't need storage once we get all the fixtures set up, get everything priced and start laying out what we're going to have out here. But um, things are happening. I'm excited about it. But now we're going to do a haul. Well, here is everything out on the cart. Looks good, right? I'm pretty sure I bought this entire lot for the owl. It's made of cast. Oh, it says Japan. It's cast metal, and it does say Japan. So I'm not sure uh, what its intended purpose is, but I like the lines of it. I thought it had a good form, so I ended up with all this stuff. Uh, this kind of has a Danish modern lines to it. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is marked by a Letty. Mocha Express made in Italy. So I'm not sure if this is complete and has all the pieces. I don't know what this is here. I'm not sure if this is a percolator. It's just kind of giving me mixed vibes. It's something I'm going to have to look up to see what comps are on it because I'm not familiar with it. This is a pressed glass 
vase. I'm not too excited about that because <laughs> it's clear. This is a fridge, refrigerator dish, friggy. Um, we have quite, well, we had quite a few of these over at the Carlisle Antique Mall. And um, I think they sell for like 15 a piece, right around there. So um, the clear ones, you know, still sell pretty well. Then I have the Pyrex fridges, and these are in crazily, crazily good. These are in very good condition. We've got the two red ones and the blue one, and they appear to have never been through the dishwasher. There's no fading on them at all, which is nice. And I don't see any cracks on the lids. Sometimes you find the lids and they have cracks on them, but they look good. Now here are some little dishes. I don't know if these are for tea. It could be like for sake. I'm not quite sure they were an auction extra. This one appears to be Ampoli, maybe. Ampoli Satin Glass Butterscotch, I believe is the color. And this here, I suspect, is Wavecrest. I haven't done a lot with Wavecrest in the past. I've seen it in antique malls. I have kind of a sense for what it looks like and feels like. And I very much suspect that this is Wavecrest. Um, it has all of the original fabric on the inside. It's like, it's incredibly nice condition um, with all the fabric. I mean, the fabric is fraying, but this is probably late 1800s. So considering its age, it's in really good condition. Um, there's no markings on it. No markings, but it's very nice quality uh, milk glass. And so I suspect that it is, in fact, Wavecrest. And I bid on it with that suspicion that that could be Wavecrest. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go kind of high on that. So um, I really love this. The fridges are nice. The owl is my favorite, probably. And uh, then everything else, I'm just gonna have to sort out. This is something I would probably donate. But I think that if and when we turn this into a shop, I want a section where I'll just put the auction extras, you know, like this, and put $4 on it. Kind of like a little clearance section uh, because I wasn't all that excited about it. I knew I could make money on the lot from the other pieces in the lot and then just liquidate that. So that is everything we had in that box. I think I'm going to move this over to the shelf and we're going to dive into another box um, just because I want to get this stuff out of the way before Andrew goes and picks up the next set of auction winnings. Here we are with box number two, and there are some real treasures in here. Um, we're going to start with this. I think everybody knows what this is, right? I would hope so. It's marked Campbell on the bottom. This is a piece of Campbell pottery. This usually sells pretty well for me. Um, and I just love the glaze. The glaze is kind of distinctive, and then you turn it over, and even though it's a scribbly mark, after you've seen it like seven million times, you're like, oh yeah. Campbell Studios. So that's what this is. I'm going to set this down here. Let's show you this bowl. This is amazing. And I don't, yeah, okay. See, it has to be against a white background to really do it justice. On the black cart, you just can't. But look at how beautiful that is. And the way the color kind of changes. There's a little bit of bleeding in the, in the middle, but then it's blue and orange. Nice smooth bottom. I don't know who makes it, but it looked like a really nice piece of glass, so I had to buy that. This here says Praha on it. I don't know what that means. And it also has a mark on the back, but I just thought that looked very mid century modern, and I guess I'll figure it out later. Um, this, I'm not really sure what's going on here. It's a nice piece of wood. <laughs> That's really all I have to say about that. This one here is beautiful. It's marked Italy on the bottom. There are some numbers to go with it. But I really love that glaze. Kind of like a teal color with the lime green dots. I thought that could be a good piece because it is Italian. This is an extra. This is something I'd probably donate back. It's not really worth my time to list. With that, I'm quite sure what that was. Um, <laughs> this little 
milk glass guy has his Fenton sticker on the bottom. This is the base to something. Um, maybe a hen on a nest? I'm not really sure. It has a Doric pattern around the outside. This is signed, and I feel like I picked up a piece of glass by the same artist recently. It was very similar, similar piece of glass. Let's see. It almost looks like Mick something. Kind of hard to make out. 2007 is the date on that. But this came with this. Do you think you all know why I bought this? <laughs> this is Murano. That's a beautiful paperweight. So this was kind of an extra, but I knew it was going to be probably something good, just judging by the clarity of the glass. I don't think I knew it was signed. I don't know, but I like it anyway. This here, what is that? Is there something in the bottom of that? Why does it have a... What is it? Oh, now I'm curious. I have to take it over the light and see if there's like a secret something in the bottom. Put you guys in there first. I'll look through the lens. I don't really see anything. It's weird though, right? There's like nothing in the bottom. Huh. That's very strange. I'm not really sure what's going on there. So I guess if you know what this is or what it does, let me know in the comments. Because that is definitely curious. This is Lefton, I think. Yeah, Lefton, China. Violets. This was an extra, but I pulled it out and I'm like, you know what, she is kind of cool. She's made of clay. There's no markings on her, though. I'm not sure what she's carrying. I didn't know if that was a scale or something. And then these. These I had to fight for. <laughs> Handmade in Sweden. I fought for them, and I really don't know anything about them other than I love the way they're made. I, I really like that square base with that kind of submerso look to it. There's no signatures or markings, but there is a pair of them. They both have their Made in Sweden sticker, so I suspect that they are something good. And I'll just have to do a little bit of research on those before I list them. But yeah, that was that box. I've only got one box left. No, I've got two, I've got two boxes left. Debating whether I should go through them today. I think I'm going to save those boxes to save them. I do want to take you guys over here because I did notice these today. I actually have three more. Oh, that one has a chip on it. I didn't notice that before. I have three more of these um, brain looking things. This one actually has the three-dimensional stuff on it. I'm just really bummed about that chip. I don't know how that happened. I don't think I, it had that chip. No, it does. This one here is kidneys. And this one here is brains. So I still have a few left. Um, and I think I'm going to get those listed. So if you had your heart set on one of these and you didn't get any in the first round, I do need to get those listed. Uh, here's a look at my shelves at the moment. I started a new process with Shelby. And so... What we've been doing is grouping this stuff together on the shelves. I think I told you guys this already, but like, so this here was one, well, not really. This is actually, um, you guys saw this today in today's video, Vintage Kitchen. And uh, then the rest of it, I believe, is Bedford. There's a little bit of Bedford mixed in. There's a whole bunch of mishmash, I guess. There's some Lemoyne there, too. So I'm just going to have to distinguish between it. I, I figured she would have a hard time with it because I was the one who actually shopped, and splitting it up is going to be difficult for her. Um, but this is all Bedford as well. So there's some good stuff here. And um, I've got to get all this listed. I spent some time listing today. And when... Mary and I were going through those boxes. I discovered all of these. They are marked on the bottom. I have them listed currently, but when I was going through them, I found a sticker that said $1,200 for the set. And I believe that was just the set of dinner plates. So it's kind of a little bit out of my element, but I spent some time listing it today because there's 12 bowls. Three, six, nine... 
11 dinner plates, 10 cups and saucers, a covered dish, and then there are two large serving plates here. So I got all that list. I pretty much got everything on this cart listed today, and so I was feeling pretty good about it. But I feel like I need a few more days of listing to continue to chip away. I haven't done any shopping yet this week. And this is current Jocelyn. I'm literally filming this, and you're seeing it tonight. So, so a lot of the videos are filmed two weeks in advance, but it's me, guys. I'm filming it today and posting it today. So clearly there is a lot going on here. It's been a really busy few days. Um, we got, we've got everything moved out of Carlisle today. We spent Monday and Tuesday doing that. So our next goal for finally transitioning into making this a shop and not just a shop is to get rid of those over there. That is mostly Andrew's stuff. Pretty much from that table that way is all Andrew's stuff. So um, he's slowly sorting through it and I'm thinking we're probably going to send a majority of that to auction. He told me today he doesn't really want to mess with it anymore. He'd rather just focus on metal detectors and coins, which I can admire. I can admire that decision because he said, you know, that's too much. I can't handle it. And so we need to make it go away. So it's probably going to go to the auction because it's, it's good stuff. It's sellable stuff. But I can barely keep up with what I have to sell. And even when we open the shop, we just have way too much stuff. So he's going to pass that along. You can see our friend is back. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. And um, it didn't sell. This is the hearse. And this is a Luke Gut... 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 I can't think of the last name. Gutshall. Luke Gutshall um, hearse. And it's pretty amazing. It's titled The Last One. But I think somebody reached out to Andrew and uh, shared the fact that it wasn't the last one. Because he made one more and she owns it. So this is maybe second to last one is what we should have put on the tag. But in any case, it's a hearse and there's an actual, I know a lot of you are new to the channel, so you have to see this. Ready? Come here. Come on. All right, look. That's right. There is a little body in there. Now, my, I do have a concern that the paperwork's not here. And when we put it over there, it had paperwork with it with like, an original photo of a hearse that he used for inspiration and a letter that he wrote regarding this piece. Um, but it's possible Andrew put that somewhere else when he packed up the case. So I don't know. $1,500. And that's about what these sell for. So um, we're, we're not comfortable shipping it. So that's why it was in the mall. But it'll probably end up in our shop. So anyway... I'm going to end it here. I'm going to head home. It's been a kind of a long day. I spent most of the day doing listings and snapping photos, but um, tomorrow I have, I have big plans. So uh, I guess I'll see all of you guys tomorrow, but I hope you enjoyed this video. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.